everybody out there in Incubus headquarters, um, Information Super Highway Land. Um, my name is Mike. Very nice to meet you or see you. Um, and we are here in uh, well, we were in Charlotte, North Carolina, in the middle of the uh, tour. If not now, when World Tour 2011. I'm going to show you my guitar rig, my equipment, and uh, everything that I'm using, starting with. This guitar. It's a new guitar. Um, I, it's a new guitar for me to be playing. This is a, a Albert Lee model by uh, Music Man. Um, actually, Ben Kenny was the one who introduced me to this guitar. I've been having a lot of problems, um, you know, with my wrist over the years, and had to, you know, kind of change my equipment around a little bit. Um, so, as a result, um, I've needed to find. The guitar that would be sort of the easiest for me to play, that would be the just the, the okay, feel, have the, have the, like the, just the nicest sort of feel in my hands. And this is a, it's a MIDI piano. It's not a real piano. It looks like a, it looks like a real piano because it's in. I actually gutted a real piano and took all the, took all the guts out, took all the, all the uh, hammers and strings and all that stuff out of there and put in this electronic keyboard because. Um, it would be impossible to keep this thing on, in tune while we're on the road, so there it is. See it? This is, uh, this is the pedal board that I've actually kind of been... hasn't really changed too much over the years. I added this pog. This is new. And this uh, Holy Grail reverb pedal is new. Um, the rest of it, everything that's on here pretty much has been on here. Um, it's just been slowly accumulating. I originally designed this shape, this pedal board shape, um, before we did um, the Morning View Tour. Actually, no, I think it was before Make Yourself. Um, I, I went to a hardware store in Utah, actually, and I paid a guy in the hardware store to cut out this shape of wood for me. And um, so I could mount all the pedals on it, and I mounted all the pedals on it myself and everything. Not this actual one, but back then um, I did. And the, this, the, this has just withstood the test of time. <laughs> it never needed to change, and I've always just had it this way. during the songs I do it at times where it will line up with the uh, with the music so it causes the least noticeable amounts of switching from sound to sound it's actually a real huge pain in the ass 